Without further ado, give it up for my girl, Paris Athena. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to my talk, Beauty Meets Web 3. Okay. Um, so, hi, I'm Paris Athena. I'm founder and CEO of Black Tech Pipeline, creator of Black Tech Twitter. And I'm announcing for the first time today, I've been talking about my tech beauty brand on Twitter for a while. Not that I expect any of you to know about that, but the name of it is called Dark Mode Beauty. Um, and so that'll be launching at some point this year. Um, and it's actually the inspiration for why I wanted to do this talk. I've been doing a lot of research on the beauty tech space, which is a whole industry on its own. Um, and so I'm gonna be talking about the Web3 version. But before we get started on talking about Web3, I wanna talk to y'all about sort of like the history of beauty and how it's utilized technology. So like I said, beauty tech is a whole industry on its own. And the way that beauty utilizes technology is through a few ways. So we have personalization in AI. We have virtual try on apps. There are smart skincare tools, printed makeup, e-makeup, and then lastly, Web3. So we're gonna, go, we're gonna be going through each of these categories with examples. So the first one is the personalization in AI. So this tool here is Latente Particulaire by Lancome. So it's a personalization technology that allows experts to scan your skin using the device that you see here to measure your exact foundation shade. So how many of y'all, how many women got here? How many of y'all have ever gone to a store and bought the wrong foundation face, uh, shade? Raise your hand. I really asked that to see who's paying attention. Um, so it's a great solution. This tool is a great solution to not purchasing the wrong foundation shade. Um, or, you know, some brands have just discovered that black people exist, um, so they don't have our shade yet. Um, but this is a great tool to go ahead and use, which can be done under 30 minutes, and you can bring basically your own skin shade home in a bottle. So the way that this works, the technology behind it, is they use a proprietary algorithm, which just means software that thinks and does, to analyze and match your exact skin tone based on those scanned measurements. So uh, experts would first scan your skin using that device that you see here. Um, and then they would ask you your skin type. Are you oily? Are you dry? Do you have combination skin? And then they need to know what type of foundation coverage you want. Do you want full coverage? Do you want sheer coverage? Once you let them know all of that, they go ahead and uh, mix up those ingredients right, up, right in front of you. Like I said, it takes less than 30 minutes. They put it in a bottle. They put your name and your, you know, your ID on the bottle so that when you take it home and you use it up and it's all done, you get to go back home and, or back to the store and fill it back up so it's refillable. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing or using um, this tool, you can go to any Nordstrom counter and it'll be done in under 30 minutes for just under $100. So next we have virtual try on apps, which I'm sure a lot of you have either seen or used. Um, so virtual try on apps are available in stores or on your mobile phones. They allow makeup consumers to try on products from the brands that they love before they make a purchase, which is incredibly convenient. Again, I can't tell you how many times I've went to the store and saw a lipstick that I thought looked really good on me, took it home, put it on, and it looked ashy as hell. So using this mobile, a mobile app, a virtual try-on app straight from home, allows me to really see what a cutter, color looks like on my lips, and then I can go to the store and pick it up if I really like it. So it's just convenient. Okay, the next uh, category we're gonna talk about are smart skincare tools. So this tool I wouldn't suggest for anyone who is scared of aging, feels any way about aging. Um, it's called the Future You Simulation by Olay. So what this app does is it uses augmented reality to age your face 20 years. Um, and so on the right, you can see what this consumer looks like right now. And on the left, you can see what she's gonna look like in 20 years, which isn't too bad. But you can see that she does have, you know, some wrinkles, her skin has aged, she has some sun blemishes. And so, obviously, it's a, it's a marketing tool. So the goal here is to show you what you're gonna look like, have you 
you know, scared for your life, scared for your beauty, whatever, and they sell you on the products that are going to mitigate, um, you know, those, those blemishes and, you know, what naturally happens to us as we age. Um, okay, so this is the Opday tool, which is, it's, a, it's an, um, uh, an example of printed makeup. So the Opday tool is a makeup skin care printer. So it scans your skin for discoloration and then prints the coverage directly on the spot that's discolored. Um, so it covers dark spots, age spots, sunspots, discoloration using 120 tiny thermal inkjet nozzles, which are thinner than a human hair. Um, this tool uses high speed a, a high-speed digital camera to capture and analyze 200 images of your skin per second. It then analyzes the exact shape, size, and intensity of those spots, even if they aren't visible to the naked eye yet, and then it camouflages them with mineral pigments and fades them using 5% niacinamide, which is really just a protein that helps build your skin keratin. Um, but because it delivers spot-fading skin care, it also prevents future spots from becoming visible on your face in the future. And then there's e-makeup. Um, we all know what filters are. I'm sure we all use them, play around with them on Instagram and uh, you know TikTok. That's just an example of me with a filter. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to work. Okay, cool. Now we can move on to how beauty actually meets Web3. Okay, so these, this is the Divine Collection by Valde Beauty. Um, so Valde Beauty is a disruptive, sustainable beauty brand that's pioneering the beauty NFT space. And so I'm sure you're wondering, you know, how are they sustainable if they are, you know, selling NFTs? Um, so they actually partnered with a sustainability platform called Ariel.NFT to offset each NFT purchase, making each NFT carbon neutral from the point of creation to the time of purchase. So when you purchase from the Div Divine Collection of those handcrafted rose quartz lipsticks, you receive one of these, which is an exclusive NFT um, a year supply of your favorite lipstick shade from Valde Beauty, access to their Discord and content communities, a digital wearable mask for your avatar in the metaverse, and early access to future Valde collections and events. And also 100% of net pro proceeds from this collection goes to their grant program, which funds Latinx entrepreneurs and creatives. Um, so here, this is, so Clinique is more into building community within the metaverse. So um, in 2021, Clinique ran the Meta Optimist contest, which consisted of contestants either needing to post a photo with a caption or video caption, answering the question, how do you bring hope and optimism to the people around you and who brings a smile to your face? So three winners of this contest would receive a molecule shaped NFT, which you see up here. Um, and it's based on their Moisture Surge Moisturizer and Black Honey Lipsticks. Um, you'd receive one free Clinique product every year over a span of 10 years. Um, and because, this contest, because of this contest, uh, the, there was a 60% rise in search traffic for Clinique and a 20% increase in social engagement. Um, this one is really cool. So there's product development happening within the universe. I mean the universe, the metaverse. Um, so a, bit, a British perfume brand called Rook sold NFTs as digital inv um, invitations to a DAO. Um, and this invitation went out to 30 members, which gave them access to the DAO, where over the course of six months, they collaborated and developed the first ever scent of the metaverse, which is the name of the perfume you see here. Um, so each of those members are also now co-owners of this perfume, and they only made 100 bottles of the original scent. Um, and so if you're interested in purchasing it, it's $232. Um, but yeah, this is the first perfume ever made within the metaverse. I don't know what it smells like, um, but I think it's pretty cool that product development is happening uh, within Web3. 
Um, so the last brand that I'm gonna talk about that's building experiences and community um, in Web3 is NARS. So NARS Cosmetics, um, they recently just unveiled their new, um, their new virtual world called Nonstop NARS Virtual World. Um, and it's only available to consumers in Hainan, China right now. Um, but depending on how it goes, they'll roll it out to all of us. So in this world, you're able, you're able to create an avatar, as you see here. Um, and they refer to that avatar as a Navatar. Um, and let me go to the next slide. So your Navatar is able to try on NARS products virtually. You get to learn more about the brand in this world and the ingredients within the products. Um, you can add them to wish lists um, and actually buy them through the online store. You can play games in this, um, in this world and share looks with other community members in there. Um, and when you, when you engage in this world, you actually receive virtual currency um, and it's called Ncoin. And when you try on new NARS products, that Ncoin then gets stored in your N wallet. Um, and with these coins, you're actually able to redeem exclusive gifts and rewards with purchases made. Um, and so these are just a few examples of how beauty is entering Web3, meet, meeting Web3. Um, there are plenty more, but y'all, it's really hot and I'm gonna get down. Um, but that is the end of my talk. And so follow me if you want. It's Paris Athena at Twitter and Instagram. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I have a sign, y'all. Paris is better. I'm better than Nick De Jesus speaking tomorrow. Um, so follow me if you want at Paris Athena. Um, and please follow Black Tech Pipeline. We cater to black technologists. We offer jobs, resources, and opportunities through our job board and recruitment platform at blacktechpipeline.com or follow at BT Pipeline on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thank you, y'all.